Suppose a $1,000 investment, compounded continuously, grows to $1,150.27 in five years. We're going to be asked several questions about this. First of all, find the interest rate and the exponential growth function. So, we're looking at, with continuous growth, we're looking at an equation that looks something like this. We substitute $1,150.27 for P of T. We substitute 1,000 for P sub naught, that's the initial amount. And then T would be five. So what we're doing in this problem is we're going to solve for K, and K would then be the interest rate. So we divide both sides by 1,000, we get 1.15027 equals e to the 5k. We take a logarithm on both sides and we use a natural logarithm because we have an e. We have ln of 1.15027 equals ln of e to the 5k. Now this is the log base e of e to the 5k, so that's just 5k equals ln of 1.15027. Dividing both sides by 5, k equals ln of 1.15027 divided by 5. I've gone as long as I can without using approximations. Now I can use a calculator and approximate, and I get k is approximately 0 0.028. That gives us the interest rate and we, as a percent, we would say the interest rate is about 2.8%. The exponential growth function would be P of T equals P sub naught, we knew was 1,000. E to the KT, we would write that as 0.028T. And we can use this exponential growth function to answer some other questions. One of them, what is the balance after eight years? We had P of T is 1,000 e to the 0.028 T. So after eight years, we would want to find P of eight, which is 1,000 times e to the 0 0.028 times 8, which is approximately 1,251.07. So the balance after 8 years would be $1,251.07. Another question we're asked is when will the balance be $1,439? Since we're asked now, we're told now what the balance is, that is what gets substituted for P of T. Again, I'll write my equation. P of T equals 1,000 e to the 0.028 T. And I substitute 1,439 for P of T, and now I'm solving for T. And to do that, I'll divide by 1,000 on both sides, and I get 1.439 equals e to the 0.028t. Take the natural logarithm of both sides, natural logarithm of 1.1, 1 .1, I mean 1.439 equals the natural logarithm of e to the 0.028t. The log base e of e to a power is that power and that equals the natural logarithm of 1.439. And finally, solving for t, we have t equals ln of 1.439 all over 0 0.028. So t is approximately equal to 13. So the balance will be 1,439 after 13 years. And the last question we're asked is, what is the doubling time? To find the doubling time, again, let's copy our equation. P of t equals 1,000 e to the 0.028t. 
we substitute twice, two, twice 1,000, which is 2,000 for P of T, and we find out how long it took the $1,000 to grow to, to, to $2,000. We divide both sides by 1,000 and we get 2 equals e to the 0.028T. Take the natural logarithm on both sides, ln of 2 equals the natural logarithm of e to the 0.028t. So ln of 2 simply equals 0.028t. Dividing both sides by 0.028, we get ln of 2 over 0.028 equals t. So t is approximately 24.8. So the doubling time is about 24.8 years.